Hey everyone, this weekend Canada hosted the G7 conference, a political get-together with a level of expectation and excitement akin to watching the numbers in a microwave ticking down before you get to eat a substandard dinner. These meetings are supposedly meant to help the world's biggest economy sort out ideas, which is no doubt why they don't invite China or India to the big economies get together. You know, to add an insult to injury, Germany gets invited twice, once as itself and once as its puppet, the EU. President Trump was first out of the blocks this time, though, to get on the headlines, raising the question of why Russia wasn't at the summit. You know, that's one of those G7 things you're not supposed to ask questions. He may as well have been asking if a waitress was single or quizzing Theresa May with a series of questions predicated with the expression, quote, never have I ever, with Emmanuel Macron, of course, standing by to pour a line of Sambuca shots. You know, frankly, it's a sound point, though, unless you invite Russia to the table, any discussion to do with Asia or the Middle East or energy or banking is essentially null and void. As worthless mind as all the other platitudes that will no doubt be given across an expensively laden Canadian banqueting table, all as part of the grand game of distraction from the bad news back home. This week, Theresa May would have probably travelled anywhere to escape the mess back at Westminster. There was threatened resignations over her inability to act decisively on Brexit, and Jeremy Corbyn even outplayed her at Prime Minister's questions. I imagine he probably celebrated by buying himself a new hedgerow to drag himself backwards through for next week's back to normal, dishevelled appearance at BMQs. You know, Theresa claims, or at least believes, that she's got enough supporters to get by as it is, you know, except the Flat Earth Society also ha- claims to have, quote, supporters all over the globe. And you could probably see a logical fallacy in that one as well. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe. Bye.